it's me, Claire, and welcome back to my red chair as we continue to celebrate the good news happening all around us. I'm so glad you're here because this month is Pride and we are so excited to be celebrating. Now let us all proactively look at how far we have come for the, in the fight for equality for all while also acknowledging how far we have yet to go. I hope each of you will spend this month acknowledging, advocating, and honoring pride as we celebrate with the entire LGBTQ community and allies. With that being said, time for even more good news because today, for the first time in over a year and a half, I have someone joining me on the second red chair. Today, I introduce you to Zachary, whose pronouns are they, them, theirs, as they sit down with me on the red chair. Zachary, welcome to the red chair chat. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I am well, and we're very excited to have you joining us here in person for the first time in over a year on the red chair. I'm so excited. Zachary, happy pride, and to all tuning in, happy pride to each of you. We love you. We support you, we're here for you, and we're so excited that you're here with us today. Now, Zachary, as a new Synergy Services staff member, how have things been going? Synergy has been going very well. Um, I've been welcomed with open arms, and I feel accepted, I feel loved, I feel appreciated, and I feel like I belong. Well, we're so excited to have you here. And I have heard fantastic things about you as a staff member thus far at Synergy and many exciting things to come, I am sure. Now, Zachary, it's Pride Month. And with Pride Month, it does include a lot of celebration. Pride's for honoring, educating, and raising awareness. So to kick off this special month, can you share with us how Pride began? So Pride began, you know, back in the 1940s, 1950s. Um, we had a leader named By Byard Rustin. Um, he was a black gay man. And then we had the Stonewall Riots, which was led by Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. And there were so many others that were involved in it. Um, Pride started as a riot against police brutality, especially whenever it comes to like transgender women, transgender women of color. Um, and you know, thinking about pride, I think about those. I think about those people that got us here, you know, and I'm forever grateful that they fought and they rioted, you know, and we see an ongoing epidemic of black transgender women that are murdered on a daily basis in the United States and across the country, or, you know, across the world. Um, we're not the only place that it happens. And until we learn to accept one another as we are, we're gonna continue seeing it. And I think such an important aspect of celebrating Pride is the education behind it. So thank you so much. And Zachary has shared an incredible film you're able to watch, which will be linked right above to continue your education about Pride. Now, Zachary, as we talked right before we began this interview, Pride is about being open and authentic. And one aspect of that is utilizing pronouns when talking to anyone. So Zachary, can you share a little bit about why pronouns are so important? So personally, my pronouns are they and them. Um, I am out loud and proud to be a non-binary person. And I believe that pronouns are life-saving. Because, you know, a lot of youth that come to you, they don't have the support. Um, you know, like from their family or from their friends or from their employer or, you know, anywhere. And then you literally ask them, what are your pronouns? That can completely change how they're feeling. And it's, it shows acceptance. It shows a sign of kindness. It shows a sign of you are safe. You know, you are here and you are being yourself and being authentic and being out loud and proud. You know, I know a lot of youth that cannot be like that. And that really devastates me. That really breaks my heart. You know, 40% of LGBTQ youth make up the homelessness population. 
And that's definitely something we see here every single day at Synergy. As Zachary just shared, of the homeless population of youth across the nation, 40% identify as LGBTQ. Now, Zachary, as we just spoke, everyone around us is at a different point of the knowledge that they hold. And I want to take a moment to, to talk frankly about discrimination that we see every single day. So I want to ask, how can allies feel empowered to intervene when they see instances of discrimination happening? If you see discrimination actively happening, the best thing to do is to stop. And if you see something, say something. You know, don't let it continue happening because it's never, nothing's ever going to change if you don't stand up for a trans youth or stand up for an LGBTQ youth or stand up for anybody. You know, not even just LGBTQ, but stand up for everybody. I think this is something that we can easily commit to. If you see something, say something. Now, Zachary, being an ally, it's not merely stop of June 30th. This is something that we're each working on every single day, being a part of every single day. Now, how can one join in on Pride to support the LGBTQ community and to really make an impact? Contact your elected officials and have them support active legislation to protect us to protect trans youth, to protect LGBTQ youth. Uh, change starts within, and we have to change it within the community and then work on the outside. Absolutely, that's a wonderful answer. Now, Zachary, and joining us today on the Red Chair Chat, of course we celebrate all things good news. And together, we've taken some time to not only honor, celebrate, and acknowledge pride, but also to talk about some ways that we can effectively enact change. So Zachary, on top of all of that, do you have any other good news to share today with us? The other good news is I am leading the GLOW group. So GLOW is making a major comeback and we're going to be talking, we're going to jump into a curriculum. We're going to talk about a lot of different topics um, and there's so many things that are going to be happening um, and I'm just, I'm honestly flabbergasted. Well, Zachary, we are so excited to have you on the team here at Synergy Services. Welcome once again to all, once again, happy Pride. We will see you next week with even more special guests and even more good news. Zachary, thank you so much for joining us today to share your good news. Thank you.